1963, and our American cousins were losing their minds about a groovy new invention called the shopping mall. It's a happy-go-spending world, reflected in the windows of the suburban shopping centres where they go to buy. For the first time, shoppers could buy lots of different stuff, all at the same place. And Kiwis wanted a piece of the action. Lynn Mall was the country's very first mall. Based in the Auckland suburb of New Lynn, it boasted a jumongous car park and around 45 specialty stores. It was just seen to be the biggest thing um, for ease, for parking and just a really good atmosphere. So we opened with three anchor stores, so we had Woolworths, which is now Countdown, we had Farmers and we had Milne & Choice, which was another department store that was across New Zealand. There was actually some articles written not long after the centre was opened and it was about making the life of a housewife easy. They talked about like, you know, going and buying your furniture and all your homesware and stuff like that. So yeah, it was all very much focused around the housewives to start with back in the 60s. Lady shoppers could also enter some very weird contests. Back in the early 60s, there was a campaign called the Perfectometer. So women would be on stage and they would be totally measured, wrists, waist, measured, and the perfect person was drawn. Wouldn't be able to do that these days. <laughs> and there were even beauty contests for babies. I got the role here in 2015 and my mother said, I think you were in a baby show at Lynn Mall. And I'm like, what? And so she's like, and I'm sure I've still got the article. So she looked back through her photo albums and found the actual article of me being in the paper. Unfortunately, I didn't win. Um, and mum always said the reason I didn't win is because I slept through the whole finals and they didn't see my beautiful eyes. These days, Lynn Mall has 130 stores and 7 million customers a year. Malls have become a big part of most people's lives. So, yeah, there's lots of firsts that happen in shopping centres. Like, I remember going and getting my ears pierced when I was 10. We still see the kids hop off the train and come in here and hang after, you know, after they've been at school, sit around and socialise. And that's all what a mall's all about. It's no surprise, you know. I love them all. Do you? Yeah, yeah, but but actually, I've never been. I didn't realise that Lynn Mall was was the original. But yeah. I, I love them all, and I've never been to Lynn Mall. I'm, I'm quite disappointed in myself. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll go straight back there if they yeah. perfect don't. Originally me. open air, and then was yeah, it? yeah, covered good. They were all yeah, the shops were around the side in the open. Mark, air. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I'm surprised that you enjoy the shopping mall when you don't like people. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But I'm also a very judgy, judgy person. And they're wonderful places to sit there and just judge people. Right. Do you think maybe deep down you actually do like people? Oh, no, don't. And you just want to be surrounded by humanity? No, let's not go down there. Just try going to church. No one wants to hear that. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised Mark likes malls because I find them a bit soulless. <laughs>